Hi. I'm in Fethiye, southern Turkey. I lived in Fethiye for more than 20 years. I had a business here and I watched my children grow up here. It's a place of stunning natural beauty. It's surrounded by Roman and Lycian ancient ruins and the hundreds of hotels here, some of them luxury hotels and a beautiful marina make this a tourist paradise. The Belediye, that's the local government here, have done an awful lot to change and improve Fetier eh, over the years, including the hospitals, schools, the local amenities, services including water and sewage. The Belladere have also built the new It's also a small marina. They've thought of everything, haven't they? Good night then. These statues of, of the famous characters from Turkey going back to the fourth century and right in the centre is Ataturk, of course, the father of the Turks. We're heading into the centre of Fethiye. The mountains in the background are over 2,000 metres high. One's called Bobadar, that's Father Mountain. As I was walking past, I just had to get the GoPro out because of this little character. These are the logger-headed turtles. They come into Fetier region to lay their eggs. The Turks call them careta careta, which is the Latin word for them.
This is the Passepateur, which is the main centre of Fetier, where all the shopping is. You'll find that all the shops are open all day long. The Turks don't have a siesta like the rest of Europe. They're quite hard working people, in a steady sort of way. There's an absolutely amazing array of products that they sell here. The jewellery has a different hallmark on it, which is not recognised in Britain. But most of the gold is 14 karat gold, not 9 and 18 like we have. Try out the Turkish bath while you're there. The one in the centre of Fethiye is quite old. This is the culture centre. There's usually something going on there all through the week. The main supermarkets are very much like back home, well stocked with drinks, alcohol, wines, local wines and foreign, and all the usual spirits that you'd find back home. Fruit and veg is absolutely amazing, but you may want to go to the market. This is a character called Haji. He's one of the shoeshine boys. They're not allowed in the town anymore, right in the centre of the town. You'll find the cheapest meals are in the, the canters, not the restaurants. You just go in and have a look what you want. This is my favourite Turkish soup. It's called Ezogeli, or bride soup. You have to go inside and have a look. We've got lentil, spray lentil, chicken, tripe, mixed mm. or grain. <laughs> mm. And this is another thing which is really unusual. Iran. Mm. On a hot day, yogurt, water and salt. It's an acquired taste. As evening falls, you might want to go out and enjoy a lovely restaurant meal. There are literally thousands of restaurants in Fethiye and around. And you might want to go into the Paspatur and uh, enjoy one of the bar areas. The evening in Fethiye livens up around 10.30, 11 o'clock and goes through till four in the morning. There's a few clubs in the town as well, which are really good. I prefer the quieter seaside restaurants and finish off, of course, with a nice glass of wine or an FS. And then an early night, I think. Of course, it's nice and cool about seven o'clock in the morning. A hundred and ninety-nine steps. Well, that's what he smelled at the cafe told me. These rock tombs are carved out of the solid rock. As I sat there looking out, I could hear this little bird. Here he is. He's a rock nuthatch. They are always around the ruins in Turkey. A 
and then I found his nest which was lodged in between some of the carved stone. Interesting morning. It's time to go home for a bacon sandwich. In my next programmes, I'll be visiting Chalish Beach and Codger Chalish, the resort of Ulla Denise, and Tulos, the ancient ruins. Check out my website, actionvideo.productions, with an S on the end. You'll also find me on YouTube. Just look up Mick Scarsbrook. <laughs>